Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers Legacy Crankcase. And this decal set includes three decal sheets on a combination of foil and vinyl backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Crankcase both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Crankcase looks really good and a direct homage to the original Generation 1 toy. Taking a closer look at the figure, he does have some really good paint applications. He's got a blue helmet, orange visor, and darker orange face, which, like the G1, had a completely orange face. He also has good paint applications here on the chest with the turquoise and the silver here and here. Darker gray underneath the chest there, right above the waist. Dark gray waist, uh, let's see, and dark blue legs. And that's pretty much it for the paint applications. Lots of great molded details, and this figure, in my opinion, was a much better use of the Skids mold than Skids was. So there you go, guys. Crankcase in robot mode before and after. Crankcase gets quite a few new decals to help enhance his robot mode thanks to toy hacks. Now, taking a closer look at the figure, the first decal I'm going to go over is the one for the visor. He's got a red decal right here, but you do have options. You have cracked red, chrome, and green. I went with the solid red, and that looks so much better than all of that orange. There's also a new decal right there with a little yellow triangle. New decals for the chest sections here that show off some detail. There's also a decal with a Decepticon insignia that goes inside that recessed area. And thank you so much, Toy Hacks for giving you four decals for that to try. As you can see, it took me two tries to get that straight. My first one went in sideways and I could not get that out. There's also new chrome decals right here for the chest. And word of warning, the first two decals right here at the top, those are located on the decal sheet. Let me find them. Right up here. The others are right there so don't start with these first go with these here up top and then just match everything up and it looks so good there's also new chrome decals right there above the waist new decals right here uh, the arms you got this decal right here with the little circles some decals there that go in those indentations a yellow decal for the forearm on the knees you get a orange decal yellow decals there more of the chrome hole decals there, and these little square decals on the feet. So yeah, a much better improvement on this figure. I love all that chrome. So there you go guys, crankcase in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, crankcase still retains his G1 look, though the legacy version is black where the original was gray, but still, a pretty decent looking vehicle mode. Taking a closer look at him, I love the front end with all of the silver lights and the winch and hook right there. Lots of details here on the hood as well with the blue, the striping there, and the turquoise and purple Decepticon insignia. Not a fan of the translucent windows because of course you can look in and see the robot junk on the inside. Blue striping here on the top and on the back. He's got that turquoise and silver design, just like the original G1 toy. Now, on this crankcase, I do have the non-F production upgrade set. Normally, I take all these off before I toy hacks the figure up, but these 
hubcap covers right here. These are glued on, where the front end has ones that peg in. These had to be glued on, so I couldn't take those off for you because, man, the wheels on this guy sucked. Hated the clip-on wheels. So, there you go, guys. Crankcase in vehicle mode before and after. Now, whoever designed the decals for Crankcase here really didn't like his original vehicle mode because he has a completely different look now. Starting here with the front. Man, I love what they did here. He's got new decals around the headlights along with new yellow headlight decals that really pop now. New chrome decals right there for the grill and a chrome decal for the hook. That looks so good. I love that. New signal light decals right there and blue striping that actually wraps along the entire vehicle. I mean, you start here at the front all the way to the back and you really want to be careful with these make sure you get the correct decals that match up you know to where they're going to go so everything looks concise and uniform just be very careful applying those decals also here on the hood a new black decal right there that covers up the blue along with new black decals here there was an option for a new decepticon insignia right there for the center of the hood but I kept the original because I like the white outline. Now, taking a look at the windows, those look great. All nice and chrome and look so good. I love it. New windshield, side windows, and chrome windows here for the back. And I love the little stripes in there. They look so good. There's also chrome decals right there for the side mirrors. Decals here that go in those indentations on the back there are black decals here that thin out the stripe remember those were all blue before now with the black added makes it look a lot more like the G1 figure and speaking of G1 figure new decal right here on the side with that turquoise and silver lightning bolt look that the original toy had moving on to the back of the figure he also gets a decal right there just like the original G1 along with third brake light decals, brake light decals here, a handle or a latch to open up the door with the spare tire, a vanity license plate that says crankcase, and you do get a couple of options for that. I, of course, went with crankcase, and there's your other one right there. I think it says ground chuck. Oh, I get it, IDW. So yeah, crankcase looks stunning now. And as you can see, I got the non-F hubcaps back on. So man, what a difference. So there you go, guys. Crankcase in vehicle mode after. Toy Hacks did a great job with Transformers Legacy Crankcase. I think this is one of my favorite decal sets from them for 2023 so far. Robot mode looks great. Vehicle mode looks outstanding, and you add the add-on non-F kit, really makes this a perfect crankcase figure. Couple things I do want to point out. When transforming the figure, the knee right here is the back window. And as you can see, it caught the edge of mine during transformation. So when you apply the window, sorry, I didn't mean to bump the camera there. So when you apply this window decal, move it up a little bit don't have it so close to the bottom that way it won't catch when transforming another thing is i wish they added some decals right there for inside the gun it's got those molded details that show you know it is a gun but i think maybe some chrome decals would have really made that gun pop it looks great on that side not so much on that side there so yeah if you have a crankcase figure i highly recommend this toy hex decal set and when you visit toyhacks.com, don't forget to use my promo code PATRIOT at checkout to get 15% off your order. I'll also leave a link to the non-F upgrade kit in the description below. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a super thanks button and I also offer channel memberships. And I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my current channel members 
because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hello!